hello and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video we are going to learn how to solve questions on logarithms that requires that we change the base of the log now it is sometimes necessary to do so depending on the type of question we are trying to solve and that is exactly what you are going to do today now if a b and c are positive real numbers then we say that log b base a is equal to log b base c divided by log a base c where c is the new base or the base you want to change to so how do we even arrive at this equation let's try to prove this equation so let p be equal to log b base a that is this value now we need to convert this equation to an exponential equation so we do so by transferring p to be an exponent of the base that is a and then we equate the value to b so that becomes b equals a exponent p so by this we've been able to change this equation into an exponential equation now in the next step we are going to take log of both sides so this becomes log b base c equals log a exponent p base c now according to the power rule we can transfer p which is the exponent of a in front of the logarithm so that we have log b base c is equal to p times log a base c now since we are interested in finding the value of p we divide through by log a base c log a base c and then we have p to be equal to log b base c divided by log a base c now initially we said that p is equal to log b base a therefore we are going to substitute log b base a in place of p so we say that log b base a is equal to log b base c divided by log a base c and this is the same equation that we have here now let's call this equation one don't forget also that c is the new base or the base you want to change to so from this equation you want to change from base a to base c now in special cases in special cases when b is equal to c then we have log c base a so basically we are going to substitute c in place of b in equation one so log c base a is equal to log c base c divided by log a base c now we know that log of the same base is equal to one so this equation reduces to log c base a equals one divided by log a base c and this is very important to us as far as this lesson is concerned so an example of this is log 3 base 2 according to equation 2 should be equal to 1 over log 2 base 3 so take notice of the positions of the two values log 3 base 2 is equal to 1 over log 2 base 3 now let's take some examples example 1 find the solution of log x base 2 plus 4 log 2 base x equals 5. now let's solve this problem together so from the question you realize that we have log of different base here we have log to the base 2 and then here we have log to the base x now since the bases of the log are different therefore we need to change the base of one of the log to the other 
and also looking at the question it is quite appropriate to change from base x to base 2. so from the question we have log x base 2 plus 4 log 2 base x equals 5. since we are going to change the base from x to 2 we are going to work on this term now in the previous section we said that given log c base a then this is equal to 1 over log a base c so this is the formula we are going to use to change the base from x to 2 now let's continue with the rest of the solution so we have log x base 2 plus 4 times using this formula we have 1 over notice the positions of a and c now since we are changing from base x to base 2 then this becomes log x base 2 and that is equal to 5 so let's continue now we have log x base 2 and then we also have log x base 2 here so to make the equation very simple for us to solve let log x base 2 be equal to y that way the equation becomes a bit simpler so we have y plus 4 times 1 over y equals 5 now let's try to find the possible values of y now at this point we want to multiply each term by y so we have y times y plus 4y times 1 over y equals 5 times y so this becomes y square plus y cancels out y so plus 4 and then we transpose 5y to the left hand side so we have negative 5y equals 0 so we say that y square minus 5y plus 4 equals 0 now the coefficient of the y squared term is 1 the coefficient of the constant term is 4 so we want to find the factors of 4 that multiply to 4 and then adds up to negative 5 so that's going to be negative 1 and then negative 4 therefore we can expand this equation to have y square minus y minus 4y plus 4 equals 0 so we factor out y and then we have y minus 1 also we factor out negative 4 and then we have y minus y and that is equal to 0 so we have y minus 1 y minus 4 equals 0 y minus 1 equals 0 y is equal to 1 and then we have y minus 4 equals 0 y is equal to 4 so these are the values of y now we are interested in finding the values of x from equation 1 we said that y was equal to log x base 2 therefore we are going to find the values of x so when y is equal to 1 we have 1 equals log x base 2 now to convert this logarithmic equation to an exponential equation thereby finding the value of x we need to transport this value to be the exponent of the base and we equate that to x so we say that x is equal to 2 exponent 1 and that is equal to 2 so when y is equal to 1 we have x to be equal to 2 so what happens when y is equal to 4 so using the same approach we have 4 equals log x base 2 so we also transport 4 to be the exponent of the base and we equate that to x so we have x equals 2 exponent 4 and that is equal to 16 so when y is equal to 4 we have x to be equal to 16 therefore we say that x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 
16. So that is very simple. Now let's take the second question. So for question 2, we are going to find the solution of 2 log x base 5 plus 10 log 5 base x equals 9. We are going to solve this problem together. So from the question we have 2 log x base 5 plus 10 log 5 base x equals 9. Now since we have log of different bases, we need to change the base of one of the log to the other. And it is very appropriate that we change from base x to base 5. Now we are going to work on this term. So we are going to have 2 log x base 5 plus 10 times 1 over we interchange the positions of these two values so that we have log x base 5 and that is equal to 9 so by this we've been able to change the base of the log from x to 5 now to make the equation very simple to solve we say that let log x base 5 be equal to y so by this we have 2 times y plus 10 times 1 over y and that is equal to 9 now let's multiply each of the terms in this equation by y to do away with the fraction so we have 2 times y times y plus 10y times 1 over y equals 9 times y. So this becomes 2y square plus y cancels out y. We have plus 10 equals 9y and then we transpose this to the left hand side so that we have 2y square minus 9y plus 10 equals 0. Now at this point, the coefficient of the y squared term is 2, the coefficient of the constant term is 10. So 2 times 10 is 20. So now we need to find the factors of 20 that add up to negative 9 and then multiply to 20. So we have 1 times 20, 2 times 10, we have 4 times 5. Now negative 4 times negative 5 will give us 20 and then negative 4 plus negative 5 will give us negative 9 so we are going to use negative 4 and negative 5 so we have 2y square minus 4y minus 5y plus 10 equals 0 now we can factor out 2y so that inside of the bracket we have y minus 2 and then here also we factor out negative 5 and then inside of the bracket we have y minus 2 and that is equal to 0 so we have 2y minus 5 times y minus 2 equals 0 so 2y minus 5 equals 0 2y is equal to 5 we divide through by 2 and then we have y equals 5 over 2 for this also we have y minus 2 equals 0 and then we have y equals 2 so these are the values of y now we are interested in finding the values of x so using equation 1 when y is equal to 5 over 2 we say that log x base 5 is equal to 5 over 2. Now we transport this value to become exponent of the base and then we equate that to x. So we have x equals 5 exponent 5 over 2. And then this is equal to 55.90. So we are going to get a decimal value for x when y is equal to 5 over 2.
now when we have y to be 2 then we say that log x base 5 is equal to 2 so we have x equals 5 exponent 2 and that is equal to 25 therefore we say that x is equal to 55.90 or x is equal to 25 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye